Hey guys, it's Lilypad Polish, and today's tutorial will be a holographic polished reciprocal gradient. So if you don't know what a reciprocal gradient is, the first person I saw do this type of manicure was Simply Neological, and if you haven't heard of her, where have you been? Um, I'll leave her tutorial for her reciprocal gradient down in the description box below, but this is my version. I use holographic polishes from the super chic lacquer dreamology collection i used these three colors and the blue is called lucid la la land the pinky reddy corally type of color is called realm of erotica and the green is called no rest for the wicked so if you want to know how to recreate this design then just keep on watching so starting off, I'm going to be applying my favorite base coat. This is the Yellow Stopper Polish. And once I've done that, I'm going to do two coats of this white polish. It's from Sally Hansen, and all details for everything that I will be using is in the description box below. And to protect my skin from the gradient, I'm going to be applying some liquid latex around my nail. So in order to achieve any type of gradient, you will need a cosmetic wedge or makeup sponge. And I like to use Mind Damp because it seems to blend the colors best. And if you want a tutorial or a video specifically explaining how to do a gradient more in depth, then let me know in the comments down below. So first I'm going to be applying Realm of Erotica, then No Rest for the Wicked, and lastly Lucid La La Land. So first I'm going to roll it on my nail, and once I see that I've placed the colors correctly, I'm just going to dab it in an up and down motion. And I did about two coats of this because these polishes are crazy pigmented. And before I peel off the liquid latex, I'm just cleaning up a little bit just to make it a little bit easier once I actually peel it off. And using some tweezers, I'm just going to peel off all of that liquid latex. And finally, I'm going to apply my very favorite fast drying top coat, making sure to cap the edges for a longer lasting manicure. And that's all for this video. Just kidding, the complicated part has yet to come. We're going to be using some striping tape and I'm going to apply it on my dry nail once I've already applied my fast drying top coat. So I'm going to apply three strips, one in the middle and then two on the side and I'm trying to eyeball it making sure that it's kind of evenly distanced between one another. And then I'm going to apply some liquid latex around my nail to get ready for some more gradient stamping. And because I don't want to waste the sponge and you shouldn't either, I just kind of ripped off the top and used a new piece. So once again I'm going to apply the three polishes on my damp sponge but this time it's going to be reversed so the blue is going to be on top instead of the bottom and the red is going to be on the bottom instead of the top. However because it's only three colors the green will just stay in the middle always. And then I'm just going to roll the sponge on my nail and then dab the polish on to blend the polishes together. And because you have to apply a polish on another polish, you kind of have to choose pretty pigmented polishes and you can tell that these are super pigmented. I only did one coat this time and that is over the super dark polishes. So yeah, be cautious of the polishes you choose. And right away you want to peel off the striping tape. I'm just using some tweezers and you can see the beautiful reciprocal gradient. And then using those same tweezers, I'm going to peel off the liquid latex. And then using the same cleanup brush as before, this is number two cleanup brush by Twinkle Tea. I'm going to try to clean up around my nail and using a Q-tip, I'm going to do the same to remove the big splotches of nail polish that my liquid latex did not get. And finally, this time for real, I'm going to use my favorite glossy top coat. This is INM Out The Door, and I'm applying that on all of my nails, making sure to cap the edges for a longer lasting manicure. 
And that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. And if you did, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed. And if you want to see more of the Super Chic Lacquer Dreamology collection, I used every single polish from that collection in my New Year's tutorial. It was a little bit late, so you might have missed it because I think I uploaded it like on the 4th of January. But I'll link it down below and I'll have it up here on the right hand side in the cards so you can check that out and yeah that's all for this tutorial and thank you so so much for watching bye